Okay, so today is a little bit more of a strength based workout. So we are going to do what is called, we're going to do a 15 minute strength AMRAP. So an AMRAP is as many reps or rounds as possible. Now this may look different to all of us depending on what your weight selection is, okay? I'm going to show you throughout um, these 15 minutes while I do this, different weights you can use. So you might see me using lighter dumbbells and then you might see me moving up to heavier dumbbells. If your form is there, that is what is important. So what we are focusing on is that we're moving well in good positions. So today we're gonna to be working on deadlifts, um, dumbbell rows, dumbbell uh, presses, and step ups. So you will need something, I forgot to pull my step out. You will need something to step up on. Now I have something super easy, like just a step. I wanna be mindful, obviously, of how I am stepping up on that, make sure I'm stepping up with my whole foot. So this is just, like I said, we're gonna work through um, reps and rounds, uh, and but I'm going to show you kind of just what the movements are first. And I'm going to show you with a lighter pair of dumbbells, and we want to make sure that our form is there. We don't want to be lifting something um, with bad movement. So we're going to do first what's called a deadlift. So if you have a set of lighter dumbbells, okay, for the setup on the deadlift, you want to be about hip width apart with your feet. Shoulders are going to stay back. Ribs are going to stay in. I'll show you this from multiple angles. I'm gonna push my hip back. This is more of a hip hinge than it is a bend at your knee. So I'm gonna push my hip back. I'm gonna keep these dumbbells close to me. And I feel this in my glutes and my hamstrings. Now what I'm also doing is keeping my ribs in and my shoulders back. So I don't wanna look like this. I wanna keep it here. And then I'm gonna stand up, squeeze my butt. I'm gonna push it back, push my hip back, stand up, squeeze. I'm looking forward, kind of gazing, keeping my head and neck in line. I'm only going to about my shin. So what I don't want to look like, that's what a good deadlift looks like. This would be a no-no deadlift. So we don't want to round our back. We don't want to overbend our knee. So if you feel this in your low back, it's not where you should be feeling it. You should feel it in your glutes and your hamstrings. So my movement is here if I have fake dumbbells and I'm just like this and then back up. So you could do this with two dumbbells. You could do this with one dumbbell. It just kind of depends. So if you have lighter weights and your form is there, you might be moving a little bit quicker. If you have heavier weights, that is really with strength work, what we wanted our goal. Okay. If you say have one heavier dumbbell, um, like a 25, or this is a 40, I can hold it like this. So I can have it right there. And I kind of line it up with my ankles, my ankle bones. I come here, shoulders are back, ribs are in, butt is squeezed, I stand up, I come back down. I stand up, I come back down. Now I'm gonna show you from the side because I want you to notice my knees. I don't overbend my knees. That's where we tend to, so I reach down, shoulders are back, ribs are in, little bend in my knee, not a big one. Stand up, down, up, down, just like that. So. We could have a deadlift that way. We can have a dumbbell deadlift, or we can have a heavier kettlebell deadlift. Just depends on what you have available to you. So don't be like, oh my goodness, I only weigh like 105 pounds. This is a 60 some pound kettlebell. I'm lining myself up. I come down here, grab it, shoulders back, ribs in, stand up, back down, stand up, back down. Now, I do kind of get into the deadlift because it's a more of a complicated one that a lot of people can round their back in. So I want you to make sure that you're not rounding your back and that you have this position right here. Ribs stay in, back stays flat. So we don't look like this, okay? No looking like that. Now the second movement we're gonna do is a step up. So we're gonna do eight by eight step ups. So that means eight on each side. I could have my dumbbells at my side. I could have no dumbbells. I could have dumbbells here. I don't probably don't want them overhead. <laughs> I could have one dumbbell in front of me here, okay? So this is what this looks like. I'm gonna be right here. I'm gonna step up and then back down. And I'm gonna step up and back down. You can do eight on one side and then eight on the other. It makes it not so complicated so you don't forget where you're at, okay? But remember, this one is not for speed. 
This is for strength. So maybe I'm just here. And when I step here, I wanna think about, I'm not really close to this, I'm just stepping right here. I'm actually using that glute a little bit and standing all the way up and then back down, okay? So that's exercise two. Exercise three is dumbbell rows. So same kind of position if I were to be in a deadlift a little bit. So I push my hip back and first I go here and then I bring my dumbbells out just a little bit, not way out, just a little. Shoulders are back. I line these up to me and I come right here. So I'm gonna do 10 rows, okay? It could be lightweight, heavyweight. If you wanted to do one arm rows, you could. And this is how I do one arm rows. I have one hand here or on something that could help support me. Notice I don't want my dumbbell parallel to the floor. Why? Because then I go like this. So I wanna line it up to my torso and then pull back here. So you could do a row eight on this side, eight on the other. That's a 25 pound dumbbell. And then we're gonna do presses overhead. There is a variety of ways that you can do presses. You could do presses where you are doing one arm press from the floor. So you can do basically a chest press from the floor. If you have lighter weights, I'll back up here so you can see me. If you have lighter weights and you wanna make sure that your elbow ends at your ear, you can be right here. You could be here and touch your dumbbells to the top or just straight up and down, okay? You could be half kneeling where I'm right here, squeezing, keeping all this nice and tight and come here, okay? Or you could be tall kneeling, making sure my butt is squeezed or you could be seated. Now, showing you seated, I want you to see where I'm seated nice and tall. Ribs are in, butt is squeezed right here. Right here. Elbow ends by ear. Now let's say you wanted to go a little heavier with a, like a one arm press. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna bring that dumbbell up here. I'm gonna bend my knees, I'm gonna squeeze my butt, I'm gonna keep my ribs in. I'm gonna come here, press up. So as you can see, as the weights get heavier and how to get up with this one, it's just kind of bring it up to your knee like that. As you can see, as the weights get heavier, you might not get through as many rounds and that's totally fine. If your weights are lighter, you're gonna get through more rounds. So it really just depends what you have available to you and what kind of what you're doing. So you're gonna see me doing all sorts of different weights. I'll start with lighter weights and I'll work up to heavier weights. But what I'm gonna do is set a timer for 15 minutes. We're gonna work for that whole 15 minutes. You have, you get to choose when you rest. So if you're like, whew, I need a break, then you take a little break. Don't break for five minutes. <laughs> Think 30 seconds to a minute or so if you need to rest, um, especially depending on the weights you have. So if you have like lighter weights and you're like, whew, that wasn't that bad, I could do it again then wait 20, 30 seconds and get right back on it. Um, if you have heavier weights, you're gonna notice heavier weights. That's where I get my cardio. I just lift heavier weights faster, but I make sure that I do it with really good form. So we're gonna go for 15 minutes, you guys, and then we have a little core at the end. So, woo, are you ready? Because I love to lift heavy. So you're gonna see me do a variety of different weights so I can show you, each and every one of you, how to move. If you ever have questions, just pop them below, or if you want me to check your form, just go ahead and video yourself so I can see your form and then I can correct you. Okay, guys, are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. Okay, 15 minutes. You're gonna hear my timer and we're gonna go. So I'm gonna start off with my set of 15 dumbbells and I'm gonna do 10 dumbbell deadlifts. So shoulders are back, my dumbbells are right here. I kind of touch them together like a barbell. I'm gonna push that hip back and bring it all the way up, squeeze my butt. And I'm gonna do two. For me, this isn't as heavy of a weight as say this big kettlebell right next to me. So I'm gonna show you around with like medium weight for me, not super heavy. There's five, there's six, there's seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then we're doing step up. So I'm gonna use the same weight for a step up. 
I'm gonna do eight step ups on one side, and then I'm gonna do eight on the other. You could do this with no weight. There's four. There's eight on that side, and I'm gonna switch feet. There's eight. Now, this is where my grip is like, whoo, a little tight, right? Or it's getting a little harder to hold those dumbbells. But I'm gonna do those rows. If I needed to take a break, I just take a break, shake my hands out, and then come back and set myself up. So I'm gonna push my hip back. I'm gonna bring those dumbbells out just a little bit. I'm gonna line them up to me. I'm gonna do 10 rows. Here's eight, nine, and 10. Now, I'm gonna do a dumbbell one arm press with my dumbbell here, half kneeling. So I'm gonna squeeze my butt, keep my ribs in, press that dumbbell straight up overhead. And we are doing eight of these. There's three, there's four, there's five, six, seven, keeping my ribs in, not overextending my back, and eight. And then I'm gonna switch it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice. So I'm gonna set those to the side and I'm gonna show you guys same exact thing, you keep moving. So I'm showing you different options while you go through this. And I'm working through it as well because you just want to keep moving. So that was about three minutes for that first round for me. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to take a heavier kettlebell. And I'm going to show you a little bit heavier of a weight to use to do this. You may not have this option at home, that's okay. Same thing, all the other options that I showed you. So I'm gonna line my ankles up to the bell's handle, shoulders are back, ribs are in. Now I set myself up, so you don't wanna be like loosey-goosey in the belly. You wanna think butt squeeze, ribs in, nice shoulders back, up and squeeze. There's two. Now with this, it's a little heavier. Three. I don't need to go fast, this is strength work. Four. Depends on the weights that you have. Like I said, if your weights are a little lighter, you'll probably get through more rounds of this. Five. See how I set myself up, shoulders back, my weights back and my heels, but I'm also grounding into my big toes. Six. Seven. Eight. I feel none of this in my back. Nine. Because this is staying stable, it's all right here. And 10. Now, I'm not gonna hold that while I try to do step ups, but you can do step ups, like if you have a lighter weight, bring them right here. There we go. Two, little bit of a little lean, so I feel that in the glute. There's eight on one side. Back and we're going the other side, eight. Now, if you want to add a little curl, curl, you could. Eight right there. And then we have rows. So I'm gonna go one arm row and go a little heavier to show you how you do it. Want to see my heart rate? That's what happens when we get a little heavier with weights. So if you wanna get nice to find muscles, going a little heavier is what's gonna help you. So what I'm gonna do here, is I'm gonna line myself up. I'm gonna use bend this knee. I'm gonna bring this foot back. So I'm gonna line this dumbbell up to me, shoulders back, ribs in, butt is squeezed right here. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, keeping my uh, shoulder away from my ear, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then I'm gonna switch sides. So strength work still can get your heart rate up if you're challenging yourself with weights that are a little more difficult, but you always wanna make sure your form is there. So if I'm here, whew, line myself up, shoulders back, dumbbell to me right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that gets, whoo, that's a challenging weight for me. So just figuring out what is the most challenging weight for you, okay? And, and working with what you got. So I'm gonna do a chest press from the floor. So I'm gonna move that weight over, that big heavy dumbbell or heavy kettlebell I bought. <laughs> and I'm gonna do a chest press, a one arm chest press from the floor. Because that way, this 25 is a little heavy for me at times, especially on a chest press. But I also know that it's a challenging weight for me. So we are seven minutes in. So if you have lighter dumbbells, you might have gotten through more rounds, totally acceptable. I'm gonna grab this weight. I'm gonna bring it back safely to here. Notice how I have both my hands on it at first because I wanna set myself up. And a chest press from the floor is helpful because then you don't go too far. So I'm gonna keep this arm out for balance. I'm gonna come here, one. Ribs in, butt squeezed, two. And you can always, if you have heavier weights, three, break up your reps, four, if you need to, five, which I might need to on my other side, six, seven, eight, switching hands. So I might bring it to here just to get myself set up because it is a little bit heavier of a weight for me. Butt squeeze, ribs in, ready to go. Here we go. One, two, notice how everything is stacked. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Now I'm going to turn this dumbbell, both hands are on it, and just kind of bring it up to my knee and then bring it back down. So now is where I want to rest a little bit because I want to get my heart rate down a little bit more, especially, like I said, if I'm using heavier weights. So it really just will depend what you have at home. So now I'm going to go back to deadlifts when I'm like, okay, feeling a little better and feeling a little bit more like I can bring my heart rate down a little bit. I'm gonna go with a heavier dumbbell or kettlebell. I'll show you from the front how this looks. So I have myself lined up here, shoulders are back, ribs are in, pushing my hip back and grabbing that dumbbell. So shoulders are back, ribs are in, grounding into my heels and my big toes, up and squeeze. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Just make sure this is a hip hinge. So you wanna think about, if you're not sure how that is, you push that hip back right here, just like that. That's a hip hinge, but we don't over arch our back like that. We keep our ribs in and we stand up and squeeze. Push that hip back, up and squeeze. That's a deadlift. Now I'm gonna do step ups. This round I'm gonna do step ups with no weight at all. I'm just going to step up. Two, three. You can do this any way that you really want to. The challenge is more to be using strength or heavier weights to build that strength. I think I did two extra on that side. Totally fine. Okay. 
and eight. Now we go to rows. So I'm going to use, I think I'm going to go back to my 25 and do my 25 pound rows. So like I said, you can do two dumbbells, one dumbbell, whatever works for you. Line yourself up, shoulders back, ribs in, butt squeeze right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then I'm gonna switch sides. Same thing, setting myself up, shoulders back, ribs in. Using my hand on my knee if I need to, lining that dumbbell up to me, not the floor. Right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And thinking about, see how my heart rate gets up with heavier weights? Thinking about what you're doing with your weights that you have for you. So if you're using a set of tens and your form is good and you can get those, all those rows in and those reps in, you keep going. Take a little rest if you need it. I'm gonna go back. Actually, I'm gonna do a double from the floor with my 15s. So I'm gonna come down to the floor here just like I did before. Now to bring myself back, I have my dumbbells on my knees. And then what I'm gonna do is come back here. I'm gonna bring both these dumbbells up. These are metal, so you might hear them clanking together. Thinking about ribs in, butt squeeze. Bring them back, up. Now I take a deep breath here. Exhale to press them up. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think it was eight on those. So, what do I do here? I bring my dumbbells or bring my knees to my dumbbells, dumbbells to my knees, and use momentum to pull myself back up. Now, we're back at the top of this. Take rest if you need. We're coming into the last minute of this workout. So you're just wanting to use a weight that's challenging that you can maintain really good form. So shoulders back, ribs in, butt squeezed on those deadlifts. Three. One minute. Four. One minute left. Five. Six. Seven. Eight nine and 10. I'm set my weight down. I'm gonna do no weighted step ups and just get those step ups in. You could use a stair in your home, whatever you got. And then we come to rows. And we, so you just keep working your way through. And here we go with three, two, one. So as you can see, there's a variety of ways to do strength work depending on what you have. So if I would have used just a pair of eights with that workout, I would have gotten through a lot more rounds. But I was trying to challenge myself with a little bit heavier of a weight. If you're unsure on your form, just shoot me a video, send it in the messages, and I can check your form for you. So we do have a second part of this workout, but I want you to take about two minutes, especially if your heart rate's up, to get your heart rate down and put away your weights. Because the second part, we don't need any weights. Okay, friends. So we did the first part of the strength workout. Now we're doing all body weight stuff, set to time. So we're working for 30 seconds. We're resting for 15 seconds. And this is what we're doing. We're going to do either double leg drops or single leg drops. 
important things on these, keep your butt squeeze ribs in and only go to where your back does not come off the floor. So if I was there, you wouldn't let me be able to bring my hand back there. So sometimes I put my hand on my belly. You do not touch your heels to the floor. So you're not coming here and letting everything go. You're thinking about lowering down, coming back up. Now, the other way you can do this is by going single leg. Okay, it's 30 seconds of work. And then we're resting for 15. Second exercise. You know, in the warm up, we did a bridge. We're going to do a single leg bridge. So I'm going to come here, squeeze, squeeze. This is what we're doing. Try to get that foot to the ceiling. And then we're switching after, after 30 seconds, rest for 15. And we're coming here for another 30. Then we're coming up into a side plank. Now I like to come to a forearm plank stacked right below me and we're doing little dips. So we're just going to dip down. You don't need to dip to the floor, right? So you want to maintain your core and you're dipping and you're dipping. If you can't, you're simply going to hold that side plank. And then we're going to switch sides and we're going to hold the other side. Okay. So we're going to dip and dip. And then we're going to do plank taps. So plank taps looks like this. So I'm gonna to come to a forearm plank. I'm gonna go wider with my feet to make it more stable and I'm just gonna tap. And I'm gonna tap and I'm gonna tap. So what does this look like this way? Looks like this. So we're like, and I'm just tapping and tapping. So we're going 30 work, 15 rest, You'll hear the timer. It will tell you halfway. There'll be a halfway beep. And then there'll be three beeps to start. The third beep we start, halfway beep. And then the last um, three beeps, we work till the end of the third beep. So follow along with me. And let's do a little bit of core. Here we go. Five second countdown. Let us come up. Here we go. Now we can go double or we can go single like this. Single, keeping those ribs in, keeping that butt squeeze, keeping those shoulders back. And we're working for that full 30 seconds. Keeping your hands here helps to keep your core and your back. I don't want you to have your back come up at all. And you're breathing. Make sure you are breathing. Yes. Now, pick a leg, right leg or left leg. We're doing both of them. So, Want to think about setting yourself up, bringing that leg up. I like to be on my heel on my other foot. Hands can come up for balance or right here. Here we go. Let's bring it up. Squeeze. Squeeze your butt at the top. Almost like you're going to press your foot on the ceiling. Breathing. Rest, switching legs. My ponytail always gets in my way. <laughs> That's okay. So I'm going to come up on the heel of my right foot. My left leg's going to come up, squeezing, up and squeeze, up and squeeze. You could add a little weight to this if you want to. Halfway beat, keep going. Get your hands on your belly or on here. If you don't feel your abs activating, squeeze that glute at the top. Now we're going side plank dips to forearm. Side plank, you want to think stacked between on your elbow and up. If you just need to hold a side plank, that's acceptable too. So you can have one foot in front of the other as well. So I'm going to come down, come up. I don't have to bring my hip to the floor. Just where I can maintain my back, maintain myself. I want to think head back, looking straight in front of me. Arm can be up if you want it, reach it to the sky. Squeeze your butt, keep your ribs in. Rest. And we switch sides. 
Whew. Gotta love the core work. You can set yourself up. You can have one foot in front of the other too, just like this. I'll show you again. this way as well. You could be here just holding a plank and up. We're down, we're up. We're keeping our ribs in. Head and neck back, so I'm looking straight in front of me at my wall. If I can't keep going, I just hold that plank halfway. Breathing the whole time. Arm can be the ceiling if you want it. Just depends where your level is at. Now we're coming to plank taps. So I'm gonna come to this position. I'm gonna get myself ready to get set up. I'm gonna make sure that I'm stacked. Elbow, grip, and shoulder. Bring it up. Wider with the feet. We're trying to keep our hips stable. You're just tapping in front of you. If you can't continue to tap, you're gonna hold that plank. Halfway. Breathing. Yes. Now we're back to double leg drops or leg drops. We're doing three rounds. Three, two, one. Keep your butt squeezed, keep your ribs in. Even if you're doing uh, single leg, leg drops, I want you to think about keeping your butt squeezed, keeping your ribs engaged, using your hands on your abs if you need to. Yes. Single leg bridge. Take a leg, right or left, we do a bulk. So set yourself up for a good position to do a really good form. So up and squeeze, up and squeeze. Make sure you can breathe. I'm looking straight up at the ceiling. Halfway, keep going. Last. Other leg. So right or left, whichever which one you choose to go first is totally fine. Here we go. Up and squeeze, make sure you can breathe, make sure you are breathing, squeezing your butt at the top, making that nice board. Halfway. We're going either into a side plank or a side plank dip. Whatever works for you and your level. Just make sure you're stacked. Set yourself up, bring it up, dip it down. Keep your butt squeezed. Don't overextend your back. Don't go further than your level's at right now. If you can't keep going, you just hold that side plank. In any modification, you can be a knee down side plank if you need to as well. Yes. And then we're gonna switch it, other side. And then we plank taps, then one more round. So set yourself up so you're almost like a board in front of you, board behind you. Find that imaginary board. Dip it down, dip it up. Head and neck in line with your spine. So I'm looking in front of me at my wall, keeping that really good position. 
halfway. If you need to hold that plank, you just hold that plank just like this. You can have any version of a modification. So knee down, four. You can dip, keep dipping. Rest. Now we just roll onto our belly and we're gonna do plank taps. And we have one more round. Core work is awesome. Here we go. Bring yourself up in that plank. While you're with your feet, it makes it easier. Tap in front of you. Try to keep your hips stable to the ground, stable to your mat. So no twisty hips. Keep that hip stable. Can't keep going, just hold that plank. Halfway. Rest. Now we're back to leg drops. So bring yourself on your back, onto your mat. Double leg drops, single leg drops. Let's try double this time. Let's go. So we're gonna lower it down, bring it back up. I need to bring my hands out here. Squeeze your butt, keep your ribs in. Don't let your back come off that mat. Even if you're only going to here, and then coming back up. Just don't let your back arch. Rest. Last one, a single leg bridge. Make sure you're breathing the whole time. Don't hold your breath. Pick a leg. Let's go. Bring it up and squeeze. Up and squeeze. I'm looking at my right foot. That's up in the air. Up and squeeze. Up and squeeze. Halfway, keep going guys. You got this. Remember if there's any movement that you want me to look at, just do a recording of yourself in that movement and send it to me on the app. And then I can critique your movement. I can give you tips, tell you how to make your movement better. Movement matters. Mindful movement matters. Here we go. Up and squeeze. Up and squeeze. Halfway. Keep going, guys. You got about 13 total minutes of core. Woo, who said eight minute abs? I say 13 minute abs. Rush. Side plank dips or a side plank hold. So set yourself up, stack elbow and shoulder. Here we go. Three, two, one. Dip any which way you can or hold that plank. Whatever works for you, just bring your head and neck back so they're in line with your spine. Squeeze your butt, it helps. I know, if you're like, it doesn't help, it makes it harder. Makes it harder, but yet easier. Breathe. Almost to the finish, guys. Rest. Switch it up, other side. And then we got side plank dips and plank and forward plank dip or forward plank taps. Here we go. Bring it up, dip it down. Head, neck, back. So your head, crown of your head is lined up. So you're not leaning forward. Create a board, like imaginary boards in front of you and behind you. Breathing. Forward plank taps. Last thing we got, last one. And then we call it a day. Here we go, bring it up. 
why it makes it easier. Tap, tap, keep those hips square to the floor. None of this, none of this dip inside to side. Keep your hips square to your mat. If you can't keep tapping, then you simply hold that plank. Ribs in, butt squeezed. We are over halfway. Keep going, keep going, you can do it. Yes, well done. So this was a little bit more of a strength-based workout today and a little core at the end. So just know that if you don't have the heaviest weights for the first part of the workout, that you just wanna go ahead and make sure your form is really good and we'll get through more rounds than I did with a heavier weight. So if you have heavier weights available, just make sure that in those deadlifts, you're feeling it in the glutes and the hamstrings and not your low back. If you have any questions about your form whatsoever, please just do a video. I'm the only one who sees it. <laughs> just do a video and show me and I can help critique you and give you tips on how to have a little bit better movement. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's workout. I will see you again for the third one. And I hope you guys are having a great day.